Hello everyone, this is Tenny, aka Tenny Makanaki, and this is Spotlight with Not Just Like TV. Honestly, Fatum was a freestyle. It was a freestyle, it was in my best friend's house, Bumi's house, and nobody was home, so I just carried, except her younger sister, so I said, okay, let me use my phone to play the Osita Zadebe song and I'll use your own phone to record myself and that's how it happened there was no I didn't sit down to think about it or anything it just came out I'm a songwriter so and also I face that a lot so I make up stories in my head you know I try to from, I watch a lot of your band movies so from the movies I've watched and everything I, I coin them together and I make stories I like to sing songs that have stories that's how far it came. It wasn't like I sat down to write it. I can't even see, ask my manager. I can't even sit down to write. I, I use my phone. I just want him to know my truth and to be able to understand the music because most of the things I sing, what's going on, people's experience, my own personal experience, and for people to also be able to relate, you know what I'm saying, to what I'm going through. I feel like it's always been there. I've done music since I was young. I used to play for Governor Marwa, drums. I played for Tinumbu, I played for Fashola, till I went to school in America. So music has always been a part of me. I was in school band, so every morning I did music. Music is something that I've done since I've been conscious. Niniola is my sister, and we grew up singing together. Actually, Nini taught me how to sing. I used to sing like this when I was younger. In the, in the um, corridor, and then would be like, Oh, don't sing, sing from your stomach. So I used to think, because my other elder sister, Doing, she didn't want to hurt my feelings. So Doing would tell me, Your voice is amazing, don't mind me. But Nini is someone that tells, tells the truth no matter what. Like, Nini is one of those people that, if it's not good, it's not good. You know, she, she would tell you. So, you know, I started singing from my stomach, and my voice started becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. And one thing I know for sure is I've never doubted myself. Me knowing who I am and, and what I have inside of me. And I'm not where I want to be and I'm far from it. But I just always knew that one day the world will pay attention. Don't take it personal. I just wanna show you love. I can start singing now because that's the easiest thing I can do. So I chose it because I love it and I have a passion for it. With basketball I, have, I love basketball, but when I play basketball, I get tired. I'm never tired. I can stay here from now to whenever. Just bring me food, let me take a shower. This is my happy place. I don't know, K1, K1, his melodies, and then the Owe, he used the proverbs. For those that don't understand Yoruba, Owe means proverb. In Yoruba land, when, when the word is missing, it's the proverb that you use to find the word. So his, his proverbs are very inspiring. You know, his music is touching, spiritual. It's not just regular Faji. He can do the Faji, but then, you know, he also does conscious music. I feel like my music is just good music. Good music, music that you can relate to. If someone somewhere can relate to there. Just good music is how I'm feeling. It's what I want to talk about. I'm not being forced to sing what I don't want to sing. I'm singing that I'm feeling at the moment. Uh, she's his big brother, close to him. Uh, we teamed up to say, okay, let's do this. But at the time, he was working on American projects. You know, he was signed to Sony, or he's still signed to Sony. And uh, that didn't work out because he didn't have time. So we came together and we were like, you know what? See, I don't want to waste your time. And hey, she's in man, I don't want to bug you because I know you're busy with other projects and she's always like, okay, go do your thing. And I still call Shizu till today, like, if I need any advice, if I need any thing, I call him. I felt like it was God, I just, uh, a lot of people wanted to sign me and I just wanted to sign to a label that was like family, you know, a label where I had a voice and where Everyone's understanding, welcoming, warm, 
and I prayed about it. And trust me, man, I can't tell you anything that has happened in my life has been me. It's been God. I mean, I've done my part, but God, God did surely answer my prayer. With the whole writing like that and how I received the praise and the backlash, I wasn't, in, in the first place, I wasn't even doing it for any praise. I was just excited that, you know, in my lifetime, I've been able to do something that's challenged me and that's helped me grow, which is writing for one of the greatest artists in Africa. Uh, it was a big deal for me. It was something that I was very proud of myself for. Um, so I made, I tweeted it and some people took it bad, some people took it wrong. But nevertheless, uh, it was Nigerian industry, we still have a long way to go, you know, in terms of writers and us being able to come out to say this is what we've done. But I feel like we'll get there some someday. I feel like most artists are not, because of the mentality of the people, they think if you have a songwriter, then that means you're not good. But that's not true because I've read books that have four authors. Two heads are better than one. First of all, I feel, I feel like he's the nicest guy. Like, the guy's nice, he's calm, he's chill. Matter of fact, he's like my brother. You know, like I can call him at any time and we'll discuss. I can talk to him about personal issues. He's my guy. He's my boss, but he's my guy. Do awards mean so much to me? Yes and no. Yes, because it's a reward for your hard work. But no, because sometimes it's not the best man that always wins due to certain situations. Maybe the fans think, oh, this person deserves this and that person deserves that. But I don't really think about awards. I just want to make good music. Like the Nigerian industry is very, it's a hot market right now. The whole world has its eyes on it. Um, we have so many talented people, like making music with little resources, little to no resources. And the music is being heard all over, you know? So I feel like we're doing well. There's still more work to be done, but we're doing well. We're doing very well. Plans I have just to release music. I'm, I have shows in America and Canada, I think. And um, just music, just releasing good music for this year. No EP, no album, but come next year, maybe. It depends on how the mood is. I was very surprised, you know. I'm, I'm one person, I don't expect, you know what I'm saying? So when I saw that, I was, I was excited, but I was also very surprised. But I'm excited for it, and I, I hope I win. What made the best man win? Hello everyone, this is Tenny Makanaki, and this is Spotlight on Not Just OK TV.